Hey guys, today I am going to do an updated or an update on a video that I did about two years ago. About two years ago, I did a video about how to fix any cream eyeshadows that you have, whether they be a Maybelline color tattoo, a MAC paint pot, any kind of a cream eyeshadow that's in a jar. And I've been wanting to update you about that information that is in that video. If you haven't seen it, um, basically what the video consisted of is when you get a Maybelline color tattoo or a MAC paint pot or any cream eyeshadow that has dried up, I had recommended that you put some MAC Fix, Fix Plus in there, stir it up, and you'd be good to go. And while I still stand by that information, I found something better. And best of all, I found something cheaper because um, somebody had asked me a long, long time ago when I had talked about that thing, that information, uh, they said, you know, if you ever find anything other than Mac Fix Plus, let me know. Well, that was a long, long time ago that somebody said that to me, but I have something better. I had wanted to try this before and um, for whatever reason, I never got around to it until recently and so that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay so this is a Maybelline color tattoo. It's just a cream shadow in a jar. This is in the shoe in the shoe. This is in the shade Nude Compliment. This was a from a limited edition collection that they released in spring 2014. This is a gorgeous gorgeous shade. I really really love it. I am wearing this today on my lids and my crease and I love how it makes it look like you have two different colors on with these um, because you know it's lighter on the lids than it is in the crease so makes it look like you got really fancy with your eyeshadows and I didn't. I just have um, the Maybelline color tattoo and nude compliment on my lids and my crease and then I took um, the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and on the left hand side of that at the top the brow bone shade I have on as my highlight brow bone highlight and then I also put some in the inner corners that's all I have on my eyes today for shadows um, but anyway that's not what this video is about but I just figured I would throw it out there because I am wearing the product so I wanted to show you what it looked like but yeah so Here's my Maybelline color tattoo. Looks really funny, right? Well, I have said in the past that Maybelline color tattoos, the formula is too dry and they dry out too fast. And when I put the product on my eyes, it sucks all the moisture out of my eyelid skin and that I wasn't going to buy any more. Well, mmm. Not so sure about that because now that I know how to doctor them up and doctor them up really well, I think I might, uh, if, if they release any more limited edition shades in the future, I think I'm going to pick them up because I love the texture of this now that I have fixed it and I didn't use MAC Fix Plus. Uh, the MAC Fix Plus works okay. If that's what you have, then use it. But I think this is even better and like I said, it's even cheaper and what it is is glycerin. Uh, now I was fortunate enough to get this on clearance at a drugstore that I was at and I didn't purchase this recently. I have this already and used it for something else. Glycerin is an emollient. Uh, it's for external use only so you don't want to put this on anything that is going to um, you know go into your eyes or get into a cut or anything like that. So external use only. This stuff is dirt cheap. Not so easy to find though. Not every drugstore in the world seems to carry it and the ones that do, they don't seem to know where to put it. It's very difficult to find this on the shelves at a drugstore but most drugstores do have it. I believe I got mine at Rite Aid but if you don't have Rite Aid it's no big deal. Um, just go to any pharmacy, ask the pharmacist, you know, where's your glycerin and they, they will most likely be able to uh, tell you or just ask somebody that works at the store. But this stuff is super, super concentrate, concentrated. It's basically a moisturizer, but it's a liquid moisturizer. Cosmetics industries use this 
when they make um, moisturizers, any, any kind of body lotion or face moisturizer or anything that has a liquid or cream consistency, you will see this listed as an ingredient in many, many beauty products. And it's colorless, it's pretty much odorless. Like I said, it's super, super concentrated. So what I do is I just take some, pour it in the cap, and I take as small of amount as will pour. Now the consistency on this, you won't be able to see that because the cap is white, but the consistency on this is really thick and so it's not easy to pour, but you want to take the smallest amount you can and pour it into the cap. As soon as you have some in the cap, stop. And then I just pour, I would say, you know, the smallest amount I can pour from the cap into my cream eyeshadow jar. Now, I'm not going to do that because this one's already done. But um, then I just take something that I can stir it with. And I used this, but you can use whatever you want. This part is not important at all. This is something that I got when I bought a Z palette, and it's to help you um, take your eyeshadows out, scoop them out of the Z palette to move to another palette or wherever. So it's just this little spatula thing. So you can't buy those individually, but you can use a strong wooden toothpick. You can use the back of a spoon, like a spoon, utensil type spoon. Anything small and sturdy. Just don't use something, like you know how some toothpicks are really flimsy and fragile and break easily? When I say use a toothpick, I mean like one of those heavy duty kinds. Anything that you can stir easily with. So just put the smallest amount of glycerin that you can into this, stir it up, and the texture is so nice on this now. It's um, just the perfect consistency now for a cream eyeshadow, for me anyway. Keep in mind, I have dry skin. So you may not want yours to be like this, but I love it because it still has the original ingredients in there, but I'm just adding a little bit of glycerin to it to make it a much nicer consistency. And as you can see, it was really easy to blend out the edges, it didn't crease, it didn't um, ball up in any particular area. Um, just absolutely phenomenal. This is the way that I am always going to fix my cream eyeshadows. Now, if I pour this back in, I wonder if you'll be able to see the consistency. See, so it's a liquid, but it's a thick liquid. It's almost like a syrup consistency. And um, it was originally $3.49, and then it was on clearance for $2.48, so one bottle of this is going to last me forever. But when I saw what a deal I was getting, I bought two bottles. Now, I don't know about a shelf life on this. I'm not really sure about that. Um, it's marketed as a valuable aid for dry skin. It says dilute with two to three parts water and apply locally to affected areas. So I guess this is for people with super dry skin that have tried everything else. And I haven't used it for that. I'm just using it for my little concoctions and experiments with makeup and so forth that I've been doing. But this is absolutely fantastic for fixing up a cream eyeshadow. I really, really love the way this came out, the texture, everything. And how long will it stay like this, you know, without getting dried out again? I don't know. But I have a feeling that... Um, I will most likely have to throw the eyeshadow away before I have to fix it again because I'm not really comfortable keeping creams, gels, liquids, anything like that when it comes to makeup more than, I want to say two years, but sometimes I push it to three years, but that's really, three years is even too long because bacteria develops, blah, 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 especially when you add another ingredient to it that might make it more likely to expire faster. I would think that if you add 
a moisturizing ingredient to it. So, but in the meantime, I will get to use this again because what good is it if it's just sitting in a drawer, dried up, or makes the skin of my eyes uncomfortably dry? Um, even if I put like moisturizer or an eye cream or something underneath it and then put this on top, it was just too dry. So all my Maybelline tattoos were just sitting there not being used because, well, except for the ones that I fixed with the Max, MAC Fix Plus, but um, I have to admit I wasn't as happy with the texture or the outcome with the MAC Fix Plus as I am with this. And... The MAC Fix Plus has a slightly irritating quality to it. I mean, it's not anything really uncomfortable or anything like that. I mean, it did the job okay, but there was something in that that would just ever so slightly irritate my skin, but not to the point where I didn't want to use it. Uh, but this is way, way better. So I wanted to let you guys know about this because it's cheap, it's easy to find at any drugstore, well most drugstores. I have, there was one drugstore I went to that I didn't have it. I can't remember now which one that was, but um, yeah, most, most pharmacies do stock glycerin and um, it's cheap, easily available, and works much better than the Mac Fix Plus does. As a matter of fact, I'm wondering if maybe I should change the title of this video to how to fix a dried up cream eyeshadow and then just delete that other video because people most likely will come across the old one first rather than this but I, I don't know we'll see we'll see uh, so that's it for today you guys and you know we're gonna be having um, holidays coming up and so forth my husband's gonna be having days off from work and everything so I probably won't be able to do a video Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday because he's going to be off from work for those four days. And then sometimes I have things going on around those days that I have to do. So I'll try to get as many videos out as I can and keep to my schedule as much as I can. But um, yeah, it's tough around the holidays and whatnot to uh, get these things out there. So just wanted to let you know about this because I love it, love it, love it. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.